Alright, so where we stand with the Acura TL project, my new daily, the car that I have been working on. In the last video, what all did we get painted? I think we got the front bumper, side skirts, rear bumper painted, a couple other pieces. So now that leaves us with the front lip, rear lip, and then the rest of the entire car. All that's going to be painted in today's video. We are going to be completely done painting everything for this car. No more paint which is a huge bridge to cross over in order to complete a project to get it done. And I'm just rambling at this point. Intro, let's get started. Let's go, let's start. Right now, here we go. Intro, intro now, intro. And now, you're watching the aspiration that is to build cars just as popping as those big red boots channel of YouTube. Welcome to Bodie Vision. Hey, so what is up and welcome. Thanks so much for joining me yet again on another video. So where we stand right now, what I want to do on this video is just focus on the entire car. At this point, I have everything else done besides the car itself. So there's a little gap of a couple parts and pieces that you did not see. Let me grab, let me grab two of the pieces before I go into, into details about them. Hold on. So this is just, this is an example of why a project like this takes so long because every single door handle had to come off now there's each door handle has two pieces one where like the lock mechanism goes in like there's this circular side right here and then there's a part that continues over and continues on with this so i had to do the door handles inside and out so that way it's a nice feel when you're opening the handles it doesn't feel like dry overspray on the inside of there which it does feel like if you don't remove them and then we have the mirror this color custom lilac over black it's lilac with just a little bit of blue flake or blue pearl or blue something mixed in there to give it this kind of a purpley blue shimmer on it so this mirror looking fire looking really good you saw me get the glass for it in the junkyard in the last video so the mirrors are done the handles are done the wing is done the lips are done there's millions of things done so let's just go ahead and get into the first step of the car and then i'll talk a little bit more about that first step Projects, most of my paint jobs and most of the things that I'm painting I like to use a white sealer I like to use a white sealer because it really shows you when you have good complete coverage and it's just a nice consistent layer for you to put your paint on top of for example the 2j swap silica that I recently painted that had a white sealer and then the orange and the pearls and all that stuff went on top of that white sealer but since this car is black since the jams are black and since I'm not going to be touching the jams I didn't want to introduce another color that's the opposite of the color that it currently is so that is why I did end up going with the black sealer so any sealer that kind of gets under any of the tape that I laid and it does happen being black on black it's not as intrusive as going with a white sealer so if you have your sealer very close to your base layer color you don't have to use as much base coat to get full coverage anyways I don't want to bore you with the details and all of that stuff so let's go ahead and get into this base coat this base coat is BMW jet black it's a black that has no metallic no pearl no flake just a straight black
into our mid coat or our pearl and I went into a lot of extensive detail on some of my more previous videos about the process about what exactly I'm doing if you're not too familiar with the process you can go back and check out some of those so now I'm going to get into that custom mixed pearl color spray that right on top of the black that's gonna give us our color that I'm going for which is a really dark color with a shimmer of purpley blue on top of it and let's just get those pearls laid out nice smooth and consistent is what we're going for yeah time to do that let's go those pearls laid out like how pearls laid out it doesn't look perfectly smooth it doesn't even really look good but that's just part of the process and you've got to trust the process so it is pretty consistent I checked it with my sunlight a way that you have to check your cover just turn off all your lights in your spray area whether it's a booth or a garage or whatever grab a really bright light so that way you can focus on one area as you're looking at the car Go around, make sure you have good coverage. If you don't, now is the time to fix it because by the time you do clear coat, you cannot go back without having to sand it down and redo clear and then get into a whole thing. Fix it now while you're at it as opposed to trying to do a lot more work later to fix it. Just fix it now. You'll be a lot more happy with it in the end.
is looking beautiful. So what I want to do, I'll throw on the screen right here. This car, I saw this quite a while ago, right actually when I got the TL, and this color was the inspiration for the color that I ended up painting the TL. I knew nothing about this car. I knew nothing about the color that was on there. It's just, I saw the way it looked. I liked the way it looked, and I said, that look would look really nice on the TL. So I kind of tried to put together what I thought the process might have been. That's why we did the black base coat, the lilac kind of violet pearl with the blue on top of that, and then the clear. The idea is the sides are gonna be black, when the light's not hitting directly on it, it'll be, you know, a black. But then as the light travels along the car, it kind of changes and shifts to a more of a midnight purpley blue color. And I think it looks really good. Now, one thing about the car that I noticed is I had a medium activator in my clear coat. And a medium activator I like to use when it's around 75 to 85 degrees or so. 85 is probably even pushing it when you're doing a full car. So I do have quite a bit more orange peel than I'm used to because yesterday was about 90 degrees out. I should have used a slow activator so that paint could have stayed opened and flowed out a little bit longer, but it was drying pretty quickly. I have quite a bit more orange peel than I'm used to, but that is all good. It is no problem. I still have two heavy coats on there. I'm gonna have to call my buddy Toby. We're gonna do a full wet sand and buff color correction on this car. And then my current complaint of having a little bit more texture than I'm used to will be out the window because it'll be just completely flat, looking really good. Overall, looks good. It is going to take a long time for me to get this car back together mirrors, handles, trim, side skirts, bumper, lip, lights, everything. There's a lot of pieces. This car has been blown apart. So as far as the TL goes, I wanna hear what you think up until this point. Now, of course, I will show you the entire car being put back together in upcoming videos, and I will catch you on those upcoming videos. So thank you guys so much for watching. Like this video, comment, subscribe, do all the stuff. You know what it is, YouTube. Car looking good. I'm out.